Alright, so today I'm going to show you how to uh, retrieve the OBD-1 codes on your uh, Honda. Well, this particular car is a 95 Honda Civic and it is OBD-1. So basically, there's a connector in, these, in the passenger kick panel that you're going to jump. And it's going to allow the check engine light to flash. It's kind of like Morse code. Uh, the short blinks are single digit numbers. The long blinks are double digit. So for example, long blink, short blink is 11. And uh, long blink, long blink is 20. Uh, there's something like 60 codes, it could be more or less, I'm just, I'm just guessing, but... Alright, first thing you're gonna wanna do, uh, turn the key forward, and you can use anything to jump your connector. It's actually located in this 95 Civic. It's actually tucked into this carpet right here. It's gonna be a two pin connector like this. Let me focus in on that. Yeah, so you can use uh, for, for, this is what I had handy. I'm just gonna use this piece of wire to jump the connector. So I'm gonna do that real quick. Maybe y'all can see me do that. Can't do this with uh, just two hands. Uh, so right there, the connector is jumped, and right now it's already probably flashing. So let's let's see what it says. Okay, I don't know if you caught that, but it blinked four times really fast. One, two, three, four. So that's that would be considered short blinks, and it, uh, it's pretty interesting. The OBD1 computer actually stores codes. Your check engine light doesn't have to be currently on to have a code uh, a code stored in the computer. Yeah, so uh, four blinks, that's actually for the crank position sensor. And on these OBD1 cars, that's actually located inside the distributor. So that's gonna be a future video for you guys. But uh, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.